my my dear dear um, wife she backed out the car from the garage but the garage was not open <laughs> Poštovani gledalci, dobar dan, sa nama je poznato lice od prošle godine, Rajna Alexander, ponovo MGP u Helene, how are you? I'm great, thank you, how are you Danilo? Well, also great, I am very glad to have this opportunity to talk with you again. Uh, ok, uh, let's take a look uh, to period between our two interviews. Uh, it was uh, <laughs> it was the uh, same period of year. Uh, so you were on uh, Melody Grand Prix uh, and uh, Eurovision got cancelled. So here are you again on the road to Rotterdam. Oh yes. With oh yes. Different I, I promised I promised to come back and here I am. Well, uh, fans did uh, anticipate you, and uh, people were like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's good." When when they saw you uh, on the list, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, but this time you don't have to pre-qualify. You didn't have to pre-qualify for um, that's right final. Uh, so can you tell us something more about that procedure? Uh, how did you gain that spot and everything else? Well, you know, Danilo, I um, I like to uh, fight my way. Uh, I like to gain and earn respect and love. Um, and so, therefore, I'm not very happy uh, that uh, I am pre-qualified. Uh, I would love to to build my way up to the top. But, of course, then again, it's a big honor uh, to be invited to come back. And, uh, and of course, I, I, I worked my way up last year. And as I say, I never really got the opportunity to either win or lose last year, I feel. So um, it was only right that I should come back, I think. Uh, we had a um, specific situation last year uh, with application fall. Uh, we know what happened uh, during the performances. Application got shut down and the, the jury, backup jury, was the one that decided. And you didn't have, uh, and, and like you said, you didn't have opportunity to win or lose. <laughs> yes. You uh, know, the, because the interesting thing would be everybody that voted for someone else uh, than Ulrike, when those artists were out uh, of the competition, who would they vote for then? We never, we will never know. Yes, because yes, yes. I could have, I could have flipped the whole situation around. So I, I, I really feel I, I, I didn't get to lose and I didn't get to win and I'm back and it feels yeah, fantastic. And, uh, Everything, everything about last year is because of uh, at the end uh, of that uh, Melody Grand Prix, uh, Eurovision was cancelled. So it was absolutely, you know, like uh, almost um, like um, a reveal show with no uh, competition, uh, with no with no actual competition. You you actually at the end of the day uh, wasn't fighting for anything. We That's just had um, a number of g good songs, yeah. and um, uh, just you know uh, because the 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 jury that decided uh, in the end uh, they only heard uh, the recordings, uh, and of course, as you know, uh, I put a lot of effort yeah, and energy into show. the show. Yeah, and because. Melody Grand Prix and Eurovision has, uh, of course, it's a songwriter competition. That's what it was originally. It has evolved and become the greatest music fest in the world. And then we need the people. We need to see the people performing. We need to see the, the energy. So based on just the recording it was fair that uh, Ulrike won but I think that the the whole competition has changed over the years to become a big big show and uh, with the word show you need to show the people <laughs> the energy so but this year 
I have emphasized very much on the song itself, uh, the music in it, the vocals, the the text um, with a big message, and uh, and then I'm so lucky to be working with the uh, the dance crew King Wings again. Uh, so we will of course with them on stage. Uh, it will be a great, great, great show. And with But, chess yeah. table as well. What? With chess table as well. Yes. On the beginning. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, uh, this year you chess have. Chess is the world, you know. Chess is the world. Yeah, and we are just figures. That's right. And as you can see on my show, and uh, all your viewers will see on the show, I am the grandmaster, and I'm moving all the pieces around. Um, and uh, it's it's a lot of symbolism and uh, and a great message. Uh, I definitely agree, uh, and uh, you you again have um, some kind of message that uh, you know uh, it uh, is quite adequate for uh, everything that happens uh, in the world. And I don't think about pandemic. I think generally everything that is going on right now. But uh, uh, speaking about uh, music style, it really got uh, we really got something different from you. Yeah. Uh, It's like uh, it really reminds me of the uh, music from Bond movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> who better than James Bond to <laughs> fix all your problems? You know? <laughs> no, but zero, you're zero, right. Seven. We also put uh, the element of uh, of the Bond music in there, uh, together with Requiem, uh, and uh, and the opera in the middle. And uh, the Michael Jackson, if you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and make that change. And I'm singing, you know, almost same line there. And um, and it's all about, as you are mentioning, the the situation in the world now. We have to put the politics aside. We have to open our eyes. We have to stand together for our children to be better people to each other. Uh, and uh, it, it's a fantastic thing to get your find your way to the top, but not if you push other people down. It's fantastic to to take out everything that the earth can give you, but not if the earth can't take it. So we have to be careful and we have to stand together and we have to uh, just make a better place for ourselves and for our children. That's the yeah. message. And the interesting thing about this song is uh, that you are actually collaborating with uh, uh, last year winner composers. Uh, yes. Uh, Chetil Morland is uh, among them uh, and he already represented Norway. So how did yes. it feel to uh, make uh, that addition to your team? You know, um, Danilo, I, I have been good friends with Christian Ingebrigtsen in A1 for 25 years he looks very young he does <laughs> uh, i don't look so young and i'm not but uh, we have been good friends for 25 years because he studied at lipa in uh, in uh, england and i studied at the royal academy of music uh, and uh Shetil merland of course he's a he's a true artist uh, a real um craftsman i always looked up to him and so They didn't get the chance to go to Rotterdam, and I didn't get the chance to win or lose. So we decided, guys, let's do this <laughs> and go there together. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, this year we will definitely have uh, Eurovision. We don't know uh, in which form are you going to perform from uh, your own countries or from... Uh, we will see. Uh, but um, one thing uh, that is really interesting this year is a uh, quite tough competition as well as last year. Uh, there are some uh, returning uh, artists. Uh, I especially think uh, on uh, Kaino, the music group yes, that uh, yes, yes. we 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 spoke about them last year and uh, uh, what do you people. think what do you think about this year uh, this year's competition is it uh, tougher than last year's 
actually i hope i'm not stepping on anybody's toes or, or hurt somebody uh because it was great last year but i i must say that yes there are from norway this year i think at least four different songs that should win that's a strange thing to say but i really want them to win because they're so good um but of course i have to include my own song because i think it's it's a great song uh, i have great fun doing it and uh, this is also my dream uh to to be on that stage and to have that opportunity to sing for so many people uh but uh yeah it's a strong strong heat and um so many of them this uh, deserves to win well you can borrow so- songs to the other countries as well yeah <laughs> yeah, maybe. You know, many... also just a fun fact. Uh, last year, uh, one last time, was a, a brilliant song from uh, um, mostly, uh, I think, formed and written by Eric Smoland and Chris Shaka. Uh, and then I made it my own with all the uh, the vocals in the you know the deep vocals there and the ho oh, and all the organic uh, vibe. And then, of course, uh, pitching it down four tones and uh, making it uh, a big power song. But it was mostly uh, computer uh, instruments, right? It was a EDM song. This year, we have, I think, 15 or 16 musicians playing on this track, Eyes Wide Open. So you can really feel the different vibe. It's... uh, much more uh, human much more organic and of course as a as an old singer uh, i like that so uh, i'm very proud of that uh, uh, you you have shown us again that you really that you are really good in all of the genres so last year uh, we had uh, game of thrones this year we have <laughs> yeah. james bond <laughs> so yeah. what will you deliver to us next year maybe casa del papel or something <laughs> Then I go, hello, Barbie, let's go party. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never okay. know. You okay, uh, dear. Maybe maybe I should send a, a winter song. Look here, Danilo, and look here, everybody. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You, you need this to is... send us a bit of snow. <laughs> we don't have anything. We have it's sun. It's so cold here, my friend. It's so okay. cold. I'm okay. sitting in my garage. Uh, I am uh, building uh, a studio in the garage whoa, whoa. Uh, because my my dear dear um, wife she backed out the car from the garage, but the garage was not open. So <laughs> so she so I said, honey, this is going to be so expensive to fix. I don't think we can afford it. So uh, I think we just have to put so, the cars out and I build a wall and I can uh, get a place to work. So so the cars are freezing now. <laughs> yes, very, yeah, you, very you much need to, so. You need to turn them on like uh, half an hour to make an uh, engine, uh, yes. you know, like on a- adequate temperature. <laughs> That's okay. right. We uh, do it with the electricity. Uh, we have uh, cables from inside and out too. Uh, so uh, yeah, this space behind you really looks nice. Uh, last year you had uh, <laughs> it will it will become. I'm uh, building it now. It's just a mess now. <laughs> uh, and uh, yes, uh, last year you had uh, like you were outside during our interview and showed yeah. us a landscape. But now this year we yeah. have uh, opportunity to take a look into your <laughs> garage. <laughs> yes, you know. Uh, as I told you last year, I actually live in a place called Verdens Enne, which means the world's end. So yeah, on the yeah, sign yeah. on the road up there where I drive my car down, it says uh, on the official sign, the world's end. Uh, yeah, and but... so therefore I'm singing this song about let's let's not <laughs> have the end of the world. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's make this world a better place. <laughs> yeah, le- last year you you told us already, and like a month after we had a worldwide pandemic. So I hope nothing <laughs> will happen now. <laughs> uh, yes. No, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. 
Yeah, how how are you going on with your family? How do you spend uh, oh, uh, holidays and everything? Uh, wonderful, wonderful. Look at this. Oh, they they grown up a bit. Yes, yes. How old are they now? They are two years and seven months old. They are called uh, Siena and Verona. Oh, Italian two cities from Ita- Italy. We were supposed to live in Italy now. Oh. Uh, we had rented out our house from 1st of August to 1st of August. So one year we would be living in Italy now, in uh, Lucca, uh, Toscana. And uh, then the pandemic there. came. Nice and, place. Uh, yes, a fantastic. And it's the home birthplace of, of uh, Puccini uh, and um, the opera composer. So I know that you know that. Yeah, I, um, I do follow classical yeah. music a bit. Very good, my my very my good. roommate is uh, actually two of my roommates are on a music academy, so they. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. All right, great. No, and and um, so uh, because of that, I had uh, put aside money for living in Italy for one year, the whole family. Uh, when the pandemic came, and I lost all my jobs. Uh, and my wife goes to school, um, then we actually managed because we have now spent the money that I saved up for that year. So it was uh, pure luck. Many of my friends has uh, lost their work and jobs and, and it's been a terrible year for so many people. I'm pretty embarrassed actually to say that this has been my greatest year ever because I've been able to spend every day with my children and my love yeah yeah well but um, you know we lost something we gained something uh, we hope this uh, will finish soon yes. i mean uh, it it's definitely not new it uh, in march or april last year it was like what is this and everything yeah. but now yeah. we kind of got uh, used to it yeah. uh, so dear rain thanks for this uh, great talk and uh, I hope that this uh, year in general way will uh, be better than last within all of the last years maybe uh, maybe to see you on Eurovision as well and here are you again on the road to Rotterdam thank you so much my brother and thank you all out there watching this I wish you the biggest music party of all times it's gonna be a blast we're gonna have so much fun Thank you for watching ESC. And um, if I see you in the final, I hope you guys win. And I hope I win. <laughs> Peace so, and love. And next year, interview from the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Or from my bed. I'll be like, yes, hello. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> we, should, we should arrange it at like uh, 7 a.m. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. You can just imagine when I get up in the morning. <laughs> it's like six o'clock every morning. It's oh. not uh, anything like any other musician. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you... take care, my brother, and uh, I see you soon. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Znači, ako vam se svidjelo ovo što radimo, ajmo like, ajmo subscribe, ajde, znači, budite ljudi, jer smo se dogovorili. Nema smisla, stvarno, ajde. Gasi mešalice, motaj kablove, poz.